So starting from here, I'm gonna be able to circle, find the collar grip. I get here, find the pants, do my guard pass. I come here, he's framing, doing everything. If I'm having trouble burrowing myself inside here like we just did, all I'm gonna do is walk a little close to him and deadlift and turn him to the side, okay? My shin is against his back very strong to slow him down if he tries to turn towards me. Okay, if he goes away from me, he'll be attacking his back. So very bad position for him. We can pass. Collar is number one. Controlling his upper body is our best grip. Second best grip is elbow. Third best is sleeve. We can pass with this with all of them. If he's doing such a good job of not letting me get the collar at all, usually the elbow is in reach, okay? I make my elbow grip, I pass. I turn him to the side, I'm playing here. It's impossible for him to play any guard in jujitsu when I have a cross grip, zero. All he can do is frame. If he's gonna block the collar grip, what's he give me? Okay, so I'm trying to do this. Like if we start a roll, I find the cross grip, I just race to the side, I know he has to frame. It's ridiculous, okay. And this is one of those techniques where it's like, well, that's too easy to be like real, it's not. But you can find this in a lot of different places, like upper belts, we're in this like kind of headquarters position here passing. I can find the cross grip here, a long step. Here, he's framing, tries to step on me. I lift. You can find it a lot like double sleeves here. I just cross grip. I mean, you can use it so much. So round three, you can either work the half guard pass again, or just kind of play with just finding the cross grip, okay? And again, he has to frame and can block the head control. Sleeve all day. Lift. Hands up, let's go.